All right, Randy, did you ever think you'd be in North Carolina butchering a hog? No, not at all. With your son-in-law? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Never, right? No, never. <laughs> this is crazy, I feel. Yeah, this is, this is surreal. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the day right here. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. You gonna help us butcher pigs today? Today is a huge day for us on our homestead. This is probably six years in the making here of butchering our own pigs here on our one and a half acres. We have a few people coming over and uh, we're just setting up here. First we need to hang up the hoist. working you know I've, I've helped people do this all the time but I think I feel like it's a different thing when it's on your property and it's the pigs that we raised um, you know it's a little pressure I just finished this cool trailer guys I'm I'm still doing a, a proper video on this a how-to video so stay tuned for that the plan is we're gonna put the pigs in here uh, while they rest overnight 32 degrees right now we have a pot of beans in here <laughs> because we uh, ran out of space out of our refrigerator inside and Lorraine made a big pot of beans for everybody for lunch. Not too sure how high I needed this water. This is about halfway full. You know, you gotta figure once you put the pig in, that water is gonna come up quite a bit. I welded up this base here. Uh, last time I tested it out was, it took a, like about an hour to heat up water up to that high. But that was also in the summer. That was gonna be raining on us while we do this, but it looks like the rain just stopped. It was raining last night. So it looks like it's gonna be a nice cold day. Breakfast, mm -hmm. what do we got? Mm, looks like sausage and eggs and a breakfast muffin. What is it? It's almost 150, it's 145, that went up quick. All right, Randy, did you ever think You'd be in North Carolina butchering a hog? No, not at all. With your son-in-law? No. <laughs> no. Never, right? No, never. <laughs> this is crazy, I feel. Yeah, this is, this is surreal. This, this, is, this is a day right here. We still have about 45 minutes or so before we actually start, or before everyone gets here. Oh, hey. somebody's on Lombardi time. Hey. <laughs> Party time. Lombardi time. Lombardi, yeah, I gotta make sure. 15 minutes early. You say nine, you mean 845. It's always okay to be too hot, because you always can cool it off. You don't have to keep on waiting to, for it to warm up. Uh, Randy's gonna let the pigs out, and we have some broth there. And so I'm gonna put some broth in some, uh, a bowl for them, so that way they can drink. So I was thinking just, I'm gonna point this way. Okay, so we all need to be on this side of it. Okay, ladies. Hold tight. Okay, here we go. Come on, girls. This moment right here is why I was hesitant of processing our own pigs. And one thing I learned from helping some of my friends do this is you need extreme patience. These pigs were pacing up and down. They did not want to sit still. <laughs> and the whole time, it just seemed like everything was going in slow motion. I think what did help was when Justin moved the bowl closer to the fence. Good shot. Perfect shot. Good shot, man. They were not still. Good <laughs> good, man. <laughs> Did the artery? <laughs> man. Oh, okay. That's good. Yep. I got one leg. Ready? Yep. All right, let's test this winch out. Oh, yeah. All right. 
five minutes? Yeah, let's do five minutes. See, even with my knife, and I sharpened it uh, last night, it's still... We're trying to get the skull the right. It's so low and slow, really. We're just yeah, trying to. Yeah, I won't waste my time. Yeah, I don't want to over skull. Yeah, again, this is all kind of I feel like this is like so a feel thing. Like, like well, what's, unless what's good, what's not. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm doing it at 145. My goal is to do it at 145 for five minutes, okay. and then we're switching it around, much like a chicken. Yeah, I'd rather have this kind of Monday than this. Yep. Sitting in the office or something like that. That's oh, sure. yeah. Take your legs and put them down here. All right, let's go get some knives. For the first half of this pig, we plan on cooking this half a hog for Thanksgiving. And then the second half of this pig, Billy showed me how to piece out the pig because we needed more space in our cooler. We're gonna leave that sirloin attached. Now we're gonna move this off to the side. We'll go ahead and do the belly. Okay. This is your bone-in, see these bones where the ribs are? Those are your bone-in pork chops if we want them. This is your boneless pork chop. Oh All right, lunch break. We made, the rain made, a big pot of chili beans. We got some cornbread, some chips, some salsa. I got my buddy Ryan here, pork Ryan. Hey. How do you think it went so far? Let me tell y'all something. I've seen people who have started, you know, butchering pigs, killing pigs, the whole shebang. This guy actually was a pro at it. I, I mean, I was impressed by, just bravo. Um, but no, seriously, he did a good job with uh, gutting, did a good job with shooting, did a good job with breaking down. Uh, so really proud of him. Um, but also just proud that I got to be a part of that because I know that was a special moment for him. Yeah, I appreciate you being here, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. That took three hours, one pig. We still have another pig to go. The first pig, went really well but the second pig was a different story it did not go down like the first pig as easy i cannot show that here but i am putting it on the abundance plus platform so guys if you want to see the whole video the uncensored longer version of this video i'll put that link down below would it have been better to roll it on a tarp yeah 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 it would have actually oh well we're here now so 255, 253, 250, what do you say, Jason? Uh, Randy said 260, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's before good. we get up there. 225. I can't see that far. 236. What? 240. What? 240. 241. Well, I'm so Ryan, you're closest. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Since we scalded the first one, I thought we figured we'd uh, try skinning the second one. All of this is just a huge teaching day of just trying to figure out how to do this. What's what? What do we like? Do we like skinning, or do we like scalding? And then Randy's on that side. I'm on this. On the count of three, it's better if we work together. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. All right, all the skins off. Woo! This is a skinned pig. Guts are out. Now we need to cut it in half. So that took six, over six hours. Two pigs. Mm -hmm. Six and a half hours. That's it guys. The day is done. It's just me and Randy here. Randy's trying to 
finish off this head. I was so worried about this hoist, but it ended up being a really good thing. Like, this hoist works. The burner worked, and we have a place to put all of our meat. We got two pigs in here. Tomorrow, I got Billy and Ryan coming back out because we're gonna piece these two pigs up and put them in our freezer. 